Hey my people, how are you guys doing? My name is Tolani and I am Diary of a Kitchen Lover. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your pepper mixture looking this silky using the roasting method. And you're going to be roasting using your oven or your air fryer. So I decided to experiment using the red pepper mixture for a smooth blend and the green pepper mixture for a rough blend. So I cannot wait for you guys to watch this video till the end to see how I did this because you would not want to do it any other way. Please excuse my voice in this video. I have a flu, so I'll likely talk like a robot throughout the video. <laughs> For my red pepper blend, I have a mixture of bell peppers, that's tatashe, I have tomatoes, I have scotch bonnet, I have chili, I have onion. So I'm just basically removing the seeds from the bell peppers, that's the tatashe. I'm going to put a full description in the description box below. So I'm just going to wash this and make sure I dab with a paper towel to make sure that, you know, I don't have any liquid because I won't be needing this liquid for roasting. So for your roasting, get your roasting pan and get a parchment paper. They also call this a baking sheet. So if you go to a store, just request for a baking sheet in case they don't know what a parchment paper is. I like to put this on any surface that I'm grilling or roasting on so that I protect my pan and my pan looks very, very clean till like forever. So to get the tomatoes to roast really well, I'm just basically slicing them into two and leaving the open part to where I'm going to direct the heat from in the oven. now that is done i'm just adding the remaining elements of the pepper mixture to the pan make sure you don't overclog your pan also then make sure that you start to preheat your oven before you even start this entire process so my oven is preheated now and i'm going to roast this for like 30 minutes in 200 degrees so let's get started with the green pepper mixture i'm going to be using the air fryer to roast this one so i have my green chili my green bell peppers my green scotch bonnet and also my onions so i'm just i've removed the seeds from the bell peppers so i'm just basically washing everything then i'll dab also with a paper towel to be sure that i have no liquid whatsoever in the pepper mixture you don't need the liquid at all you remember you're roasting so grab your air fryer i'm going to be using this ninja um, 91 air fryer um get my paper towel also and if your air fryer has a roast function better for you but if it doesn't have a roast function just air fry the same way you air fry your chicken and any other thing that you air that you use your air fryer from so just make sure you line your air fryer transfer the pepper mixture into the air fryer and cover your air fryer like i said if your air fryer has a roast function just set your air fryer to the roast function this one has a roast function but if it does if it doesn't just use your air fryer you're going to be air frying for 15 minutes so i set it to roast function and it preheats after a while then start to you know roast the pepper mixture so now i'm just going to check up on my red pepper mixture this is like for like 30 minutes later and i checked it and i see that okay some parts are already burning which i actually like it gives you that um that smoky taste and smoky aroma so this is what it should look like make sure it, not everything not everything is totally black it's just some parts of each of the peppers so you just allow it to cool i was a bit impatient because of course i was filming so allow it to cool before you transfer it into your blender and make sure you blend smooth so you can either blend smooth or blend roughly depending on what you want to cook so if you're blending roughly use the pulse function of your blender then this is what you get very silky looks like tomato paste but it is actually a pepper mixture and imagine using this for um a stew base or even your jollof rice it always comes out like you would not want to do it in any other way around you would not want to do it in any other way you would want to continue this so i usually either roast 
or I boil before blending but I prefer roasting because of the extra flavor um, roasting gives so let's check up on the green pepper mixture now and because it's a green pepper mixture it tends to look darker than the red one but it is totally fine this is what it should look like imagine me using this to make your ofada sauce or even a normal stew or even rice always nice or even a sauce for right for yam mackerel sauce and all of that stuff so i'm using the pulse function so that i don't blend smooth so that i can get like a rough blend because i plan to use it for a mackerel fish sauce so this is what it looks like after you are done really really thick and all that so you almost want to add water whenever you are cooking of course you need to add water because it comes out really thick and silky so you're just basically you can see how nice this is you're just basically just going to allow it to cool down or you proceed to cook with it but because this is part of my meal prep i allowed mine cool down and i transferred them into like a ziploc bag and just put them in the in the freezer so whenever i want to make jollof fries or a sauce or anything i just go pick it up and it is perfect i hope you guys are going to try this and once you try it trust me you won't be doing it any, any other way i hope you like this and i hope you'll try it and please make sure you share this hack or this method with your friends and family it always works and just gives you like a pro chef <laughs> rating whenever you cook with it and uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my youtube channel please this is one of the reasons why you should because i drop really banging videos every week thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing for liking and just generally being nice to my youtube channel and thank you for helping my youtube channel grow and i intend to share more videos on here and just basically thank you thank you thank you for everything i really appreciate it if you haven't already subscribed just hit the subscribe button before you leave this youtube channel today and look forward to my next video bye